So it was brought to my attention from one of my customers that the DOT fitting that I use, guys are having issues plugging their factory vacuum line into this fitting because of this inner piece here, which makes a great tight seal. So I did some reading and I had to, I went ahead and ordered one of these pieces just to see what's going on. And sure enough, I'm pushing it in and it's, um, this piece right here is too thick. So I read on the forums that the guys who were using this fitting, what they had to do was get a 3 8 drill bit, put it on their drill, and basically just open this hole up just slightly, basically running this drill bit inside. So that's what we're about to give a shot. All right, got my 3 8 drill bit in the drill. Got some vice grips. Safety first. Let's see if you can see this on camera. Just slowly drill into it. And be careful you don't want to go too far into it. Just want to go far enough to where it will slide into the fitting. Alright, so the plastic piece is drilled out. This is a push to fit fitting, so basically I'm gonna push it all the way in as far as it can go until it stops. And then you pull back until you have a little gap right here. And that's what locks it. So now you could swivel it, but it's sealed. And if you ever want to disconnect this, you push it back in, and you gotta hold this this piece in and slide the plastic piece out. You're good to go. Pretty neat. And that's why I use this fitting. So that's how you use it on, uh, at least on one of my intakes here. You can see I port the snout out to 92 millimeter. This is all polished. Um, the bottom is modified to fit on your LT1. I smooth the contours within the ports. I don't open the ports up. I just smooth the areas that need to be smoothed within. I might take a thousandth of an inch out of there. And that's about it. All right, appreciate it.